Tom Perry. Hey, what are we doing? Show. Oh. You said you weren't ready to go live. No, you right. want to go live now? So I can go live in about 30 seconds. Hey, traffic's a little okay, just cut through this. <laughs> yep. Yep. I know exactly right. Hey, so we'll go with the. Uh, specialize in investor. Y'all have like. We'll go with the uh, foundation check, and we'll go till the break at nine. Well, to at uh, eight twenty-two. I mean nine twenty-two. We'll, we've got seven minutes, right? All right, that's fine. All right, great. All right. I'm gonna cut some commercials. Yeah, that's so we can fine. Go longer. <coughs> All right, sounds good. Let me know when you're ready to go I'm ready. live. Ready to go live. About how insurance actually works, and then even more so, you know, I. Hot mics. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. That was a little weird this morning. <laughs> so I had a little bit of a connection issue. Hey, it's raining. You know, all kinds of crazy things happens in the ground. So imagine I, that. I, yeah, imagine <laughs> that. So uh, so you're listening live now to Right Path Real Estate Radio. Our call in number seven one three seven eight five one eight one seven. So welcome to the show. I'm joined live in the studio with Brandon. He's with Foundation Check. Foundation Check does uh, does inspections on foundations, but doesn't do foundation repair. That is correct. You know, our goal is to stay <coughs> completely independent. Uh, you know, we want to have an unbiased evaluation and give you guys the best performing slab available, uh, whether that requires no peer work or some peer work or a lot of peer work. Um, so, uh, you know, our goal is to, to be independent, and I have a vested interest in, in putting more peers in. Uh, that some potential foundation companies may or may not do. So right. So you're an investor also. So you you were an investor before you uh, purchased Foundation Check and got into that business. You were a customer first. That's correct. You know. Yeah. So so it's, it kind of reminds me of some of those other you know uh, companies. Is I'm I'm not just a client. I'm a I'm the president as well. Right. Sure. So 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 you were a client first, then bought the company. You mm -hmm. obviously saw the value as an investor client, sure. even in the rental market. Yep. And so tell me a little bit about that. Why was that so important to you to be able to have an independent inspection done separate from the foundation company? Well, uh, when I first started investing back in 2009 to 2011, you know, during the economic collapse, um, you know, those buyers were few and far between in. And then uh, we found out very quickly the, the, first, the first huge hurdle, you know, out there is, is seems always to be when inspection comes up from a buyer is – is foundation. Yes. And it's the number one thing, in my opinion, that somebody's going to try to either come back at you on or, um, you know, we found out very quickly how, how you know, important the foundation is to obviously not only the structure, but also the structure of the deal in right. order to get it done. So, Absolutely. Um, you know, when we started using Stephen Newberry's product with Foundation Check uh, all the way back in 2009, 2010, when he started the company, um, you know, it, it, it really made a life changing event on not only the process of our rehabs, yes, on how we did them. But also, we, we quickly found out very quickly that our deal started closing because we got over that huge hurdle of, oh my gosh, I need foundation repair. Um, you know, and, and now we're tackling all those on the front end, and we're taking our product to other investors and other homeowners here locally. So, so, so I know you go out and you still, to this day, buy a lot of houses. Sure. So you're walking into a house, you know it's got foundation issues. How often do you hear, oh, we've had foundation repair work done before, all we've got to do is find the warranty, and you'll just be fine? Yeah, that's... If you really, really look at that warranty <laughs> and the details that go on to it, right. um, a lot of those... The, the better companies will honor them or at least help you out. Sure, right. Um, there are some companies that you know that will stick to that warranty. And if you really look at that fine print, more than likely there's probably a way a out, right. out of it uh, because a lot of them, you know, they they re they require proper maintenance in the in the contract. Right. And you know, nine out of ten times, uh, probably the homeowner or the landlord is not maintaining it correctly in in that foundation company. And what the foundation companies sometimes do is. Oh, we're going to warranty half the piers. Yeah, but the other half we're going to have to either rejack or install more. Right. Or that's you know, the thing that I see is version. that 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 very rare. In fact, never. I mean, I'll just say never. Never does it happen <laughs> that someone goes in and peers underneath the entire foundation. Right. So if the problems is in the front right corner, and maybe there was twelve or fourteen or seventeen peers, whatever that is, put in the front right corner. Rarely is the house moving that front right corner anymore. Right. Now it's moving in the back left corner, sure. and so that's not under warranty. 
warranty. The only area that's under warranty is the front right. So although you may have a lifetime warranty on the work that was already done, that's not where the problem is anymore. Right, right. And, and, and that's, that's what happens with our unstable soils. Um, you know, and, and we've seen where foundation jobs are done correctly, where that right side of the house is peered correctly yeah. and fine. Yes, yeah, so it solved the problem. And, and you're good to go, but then the back left corner is neglected by the homeowner or landlord, or, or <laughs> things happen. You yeah. know, trees grow bigger. Uh, your neighbor puts in a pool. Uh, lots of things can, can go on. How, how would your neighbor, club. why would your neighbor putting in a pool affect your foundation? Uh, we've actually seen two different cases where that pool is leaking. <clears throat> oh yeah so that amount of moisture if you yeah. think about it gonna cause a heaving uh, absolutely because um you know and and it's it's happened twice and and the problem is one time the neighbor knew about it the other time the neighbor didn't know about it and we're talking gallons of water just yeah, wow. you know coming over to your to your neighbor's house and that's where you how gotta, does the neighbor not know i mean there he's having to add water to his pool all the time right yeah, yeah <clears> but you know how yeah, right. People saying, hey, it's hot in Texas. Yeah, it's evaporation, evaporation right? You know? Yeah, it's 100% humidity <laughs> outside, so it's evaporating so. into the air. <laughs> and then the other guy just, I don't think he could afford to maintain it, so they had to come to resolution, either drain it or, you know, go ahead and fill it in or whatever it may be. But, but yeah, so Do, have you Have you ever twice. filled in a pool? Uh, filled in uh, probably four or five. Yeah. So they're no fun. No. <laughs> So I've had some good pool experiences. I've had others that just... I, I personally don't have a lot so, of experience with hammers, yeah. but I do have personal experience filling in a pool, <laughs> Dri- driving the, the skid this, steer, yeah. Yeah, so... But yeah, we, we've done it's a couple of It's fun the first them. time you do it. <laughs> yeah, and they just... If they're not done correctly, they don't settle. They right? end up bowling again, and yeah, you got to right. go back in. And um, but But if you look at the... The property as a whole, it's still probably better to go ahead and fill it in than, yeah. than not. I mean, at the end of the day, so uh, versus trying to upkeep it and maintenance. For, for so. me, it was always which is more. Is it, it you know fill in almost any pool for about five grand, That's right? Part, yes, so it. So the question is, is it more than five? thousand dollars worth of repairs <laughs> that's that's the max i've ever budgeted for pool repairs i'm like hey if it's going to be more than five thousand it's just going to get filled right. in that's great. right so that's the absolute cap for a pool repair so hey uh it's foundation check foundationcheck.com 346-702-3825 346-702-3825 since we've kind of had an unusual start to the morning we're going to hold you over through the uh, through the break and you'll, you'll go to the next segment as okay. well so all right so if you have any questions call in 713-785-1817 713-785-1817 see you on the other side of the break mic's off all right do you have cracks in your brain <laughs> Doors that stick or sheetrock that's coming up. All right, this is just going to be two minutes. No, that sounds good. Break. Yeah, got it. That's fine. Okay. Area, it's probably not a question of if you have movement, but when. Call Foundation Check for a truly independent, <laughs> unbiased foundation evaluation. <laughs> I saw that. Is that me? <laughs> I, I reposted it. <laughs> and that was Jason. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did that a couple days ago. I saw it. But that's the truth, ain't it? <laughs> unnecessary peer work. So we are in the business of evaluating your foundation. You know, s- since the super real estate event is going to be tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, or super investor event. And I'm always I'm always amazed by the people just you know, hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm an investor. Oh, how many houses? Well, I'm still looking to do my first deal. I'm like, oh yeah, well then I'm a brain surgeon. Still looking to do my first brain surgery. And it's the same people. I know, right? I know, right? Yeah, yeah. But every now and then you'll get some guys in there that yeah. finally start shaking a little and moving around. And so. yeah. Do you need a lender that moves fast at the speed of a jet to fund your investment properties? Jet lending will help yeah, we'll, we'll be there tomorrow night as a vendor. So, yeah. so I think weather permitting and all looks looks like we scaved through this thing yeah right so a little bit of rain but nothing nothing bad so yeah i thought it when i was looking at it man i, I tell you what weather weather guys are <laughs> what a what a scam that is <clears throat> somebody was telling me that the, the weather guy i think it was last week or week, or week right when this thing happened yeah that he was causing another harvey type deal no. and he called it out on the air so I don't know whatever. Oh, don't forget about our I've been trying to Google the story, but I haven't seen it yet. So. But even this, I mean, it looks like, I mean, 100%, 100%, 70, 40, 50, 60. I mean, that's high percentage chance of rain the whole, yeah. for a week. And that's, as long as we stay in this pattern, it's looking good. I mean, 
we need it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just not eight inches of it in an hour. Right. All right, guys, stand by. Here we go. Hot mics. Hey, welcome back. Right Path Real Estate Radio, 713-785-1817 if you want to call in, ask foundation questions. So, uh, you know, we're looking at the weather report, and it looked like we were going to be getting a ton of, I mean, un- potentially another, I mean, I'm not I'm not saying this, but it was reported by at least yeah. one weather guy. Could be another Harvey situation, you know, Jeez. just, yeah, trillions of gallons of water, but, but it obviously it doesn't look like it's going to be that. Yeah. But we were, leading up to this rain, we were in a drought situation. A lot of people may not have even realized it. Yeah, we were. Um, you know, if, if the rain continues the way that it is, and I'm not a weather guy by yeah. no means, but I mean, uh, this is a perfect time for a landlord or a homeowner to go out and check your foundation. Sure. Uh, physically, just get out, walk the perimeter, uh, look for some visual inspections, mainly in the pooling area or, you know, if you have any high flower beds that are holding moisture above right. your brick line. Um, anything along those lines. I mean, this is, we've had a good amount of rain where it's not too much, not too little. Um, and, and just physically do a very small inspection and, and it'll kind of tell you where your foundation is at, um, whether it be rental property or owner occupied. So, right. So, so I know that there's some common sense, you know, maintenance things. And I say common sense, they're not really common sense if you don't know them, right? Sure. And most you know, homeowners really don't know all the things that it takes to, seems like that knowledge isn't really passed down from generation to generation anymore. And you certainly, if you ever bought a new house, they don't, it's not like buying a new car where they walk you around and show you, here's how all the features work in a vehicle. I mean, nobody does that really with a home. So what are, what are the things that you really should be doing to maintain the foundation of a house. Yeah, I mean, when when you purchase our product, we do we do uh, we'll not only have the the written report, we'll have the AutoCAD drawing to scale with the peer drawing, and then if you want the engineered stamp letter for review, we we'll have that as well. But we also have a, a maintenance a very small maintenance sheet, kind of kind of walks you through, uh, very similar to what I just talked about, of going outside looking for pooling, looking for erosion, seeing if any of your flower beds or or if your mulch is floating away. Yeah, and right. You have, I mean, then then okay. then it's then it's moving. Um, no. Number one thing that I cannot stress enough for homeowners and landlords is uh, moisture content. I mean, it is the number one thing that causes foundations to move. Either you've got too much moisture in, or you've got too 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 much moisture, less moisture out of the surface. So, so what's what causes moisture movement like that? It, it could be a variety of different things. Um, let's say it could be trees in the front. Sure. Uh, we've often talked about trees. Trees are the number one thing, in my opinion, especially if you live in the if they live in the woodlands or I live out in, in Katy. You know, we've got some gigantic, you know, thirty five year old trees, and they're, yeah. they're good size, and they're pulling all the moisture out. Um, How much it, moisture is a tree pulling out? Any idea? Yeah. So ballpark. Um, if you could basically take your arms, go around the tree. Yeah. As that's what they call a medium sized tree. That that's about fifty gallons a day. Fifty gallons a day. Fifty gallons yeah, a wow. day. So uh, let's say you take your arms and you only go about halfway around the tree. Mm-hmm. That's a large tree. That's a hundred gallons a day. That's that's an estimated. So um, and kind of a, a quick tip is if you look at the fo- the, the the foliage of the tree itself, yeah, not only is that how far the roots go out. But it can actually double that. Yeah, so, right. Uh, it, you know, and it's not the roots that are, are causing your foundation to move. There's roots underneath your foundation. They're not the ones causing it to move. It's the actual moisture that the roots are, are, are pulling from. So. Yeah, what a lot of people don't realize is that water migrates. It, Absolutely. It's always, you know, just like if you tilt a, you know, a glass of water, it's going to seek equilibrium, right? It always wants to be level. Well, it also wants to seek e- equilibrium in terms of concentration. Yep. So if you had 30% moisture content underneath your slab, and you've got 15% on, you know around the tree because the, the the water's going to migrate and it's going to want it that it, it's not going to want to see the dis the, the disequilibrium I guess if, if I'll create that word sure the uh It'll 30 level. yeah so it's going to want to level out from 30% and 15% it's going to want to be what 22.5% all in that area and the more moisture so that's what happens is wa- water migrates from underneath just trying to seek e- equilibrium right. and then and it may not be affecting the area in the back left part but it's put affecting the front right part so it's a lot of people think oh it's the tree roots growing underneath the house and that really doesn't happen that much that's correct right yeah and you're 100% right let's say let's say that occurrence what you just described mm-hmm. is going on in the front yeah and we st- what happens you got to realize that foundations are cause and effect yes so if if the front foundation is probably going down front back th- going back up right probably yeah. going to go up yeah. um and that's not always the case but it <clears throat> But sometimes it's a teeter totter. It, right? it is. Yeah. It's cause and effect. Um, you know, one of my investment properties we just got done down in uh, Hitchcock, and 
uh, you know, we we ran the analysis, foundations performing, and everything's going good, and and then we ended up having a, a busted sewer pipe. Uh oh, that's a that's a man made problem. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, and unfortunately, home's completely remodeled. I mean, yeah. we're done. Oh and, no! And so we got to bring the tunnel guys out. Yeah, because you only got two options: you go through the foundation at that point. Or are you going to go tunnel underneath, you know? And uh, so you start. That's the expensive route. That's the more expensive route. But then again, you got to start, you know, hey, replacing what, flooring. What oh, is yeah. flooring, tub, yeah. showers, right. vanity? And yeah. you start doing your cost analysis and, and going forward from that. I mean, and that's just something that, you know, that the foundations, it was performing. Yeah. It was good. I, I messed up and didn't do a hydrostatic test. Oh, man. You know, I mean, because we thought it was Rookie. in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you live and learn, and <laughs> right. it, it still happens. It doesn't matter, <laughs> doesn't matter how many houses you've done. So Right. So Yeah, um, I don't know anybody does a hydrostatic test on every single house, <laughs> so, right? I mean, Well, we recommend it a lot. I mean, yeah. I, I do do... I. I do do hydrostatics if the foundation, uh, you know, looks to be in bad shape. Right, of course. Because you know, you're mean, looking for the cause of the foundation movement. It's absolutely. either the trees or it's the plumbing. Mm-hmm. Those are the two, two most common. Yeah, and a lot of it also has to do with the age of the home. I mean, if you've got a 1980s construction and you've got PVC underneath. Yeah. Or if you are if you got the old, nasty 1930s, concrete, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. You know, concrete or, or, the, or so. the, the, that, yeah. I mean, and it's just where it's all crushed and it doesn't flow. And, I mean, a lot of it depends on the, the raw property itself, you know, but uh, hydrostatic tests don't lie. So Right. So, so now lot, make a distinction. There's a hydrostatic test, and then some people say do a pressure test on sewer lines. Right. And I don't like pressure tests on sewer lines. How about you? Yeah, I mean, that's a cheaper version of it, I mean, more than anything. So, um, I mean, nowadays they even got guys that go in there and they do the sonar. I mean, they ping underneath, and that's, you know, if you've got a problem. I mean, uh, I had a house uh, probably six or seven years ago. The water supply lines were ran through the slab, what? which we don't see here in Texas. Custom built house, um, you the, know. The supply lines the ran through the slab. Uh, the water supply lines, hot and cold, ran through the foundation, not overhead through the attic. And, wow. And I've had, I've owned two houses like that. So that, that's probably a winter builder. I mean, like a, win, a, a, a like a northern builder guy, somebody that's from true. Chicago or, you know, yep. you, that, that actually moved down here, I guess, and became a custom builder. Yeah. And, and I just, and we literally lost, I think my water bill was about 1800 bucks. Wow. And, and it was, it wasn't a cracked sewer pipe. It was, so we had to go in and ping everything, sure, and it man. was it was. Uh, but yeah, I've owned two houses where the supply lines are physically in the slab, and um, versus versus overhead. And un, 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 Probably never do Texas. that again, right? <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Well, so. Now you said you bought two like that. One one turned out bad. The other one's yep. okay. The other one's fine. Uh, I still owed it as a rental. Yeah. So that one's performing fine. We'll see how long that one lasts. So. Yeah. Well, you're listening to Right Path Real Estate Radio. Our phone number is 713-785-1817. Brad Sura said third option is to sleeve it. Yeah, that yep, you, you, you could sleeve it. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. So it's foundationcheck.com, foundationcheck.com, 346-702-3825, 346-702-3825. So what's the lag time right now? If I pick up the phone, call you today, you can yep. be out when? Yeah, uh, let's see. We're down in Texas City today. We've got a job down there. Uh, we are taking appointments the rest of this week and next. Um, obviously, with the rain and all, we've we've had a good amount of volume of calls, especially during the summer because it's so hot. People are seeing the cracks in their foundation and the soils around it in their house. So, uh, but, but we are getting to everybody as fast as possible. Turn time right now is about 24, 48 hours. Fantastic. So, so it's foundationcheck.com, 346-702-3825. Thanks for coming in. All right. Sounds good, Tom. Right, see you. <clears throat> All right, great. So then uh, we'll have, is it Clint? No, Carl. Oh, Carl, okay. Carl will be on. All right, cool. Thanks. We're back on track. Woohoo. Lord Jesus. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. See ya. They know what you need and when you need it. We're here for you. Are you a rehabber, wholesaler, buy and hold, or flipper? Bundling I've never had on a single policy to help save time and money. Benchmark has been in business for over 10 years, and we insure over 30,000 properties. Contact Benchmark about our exclusive investor package. Call us and let us show you what we can do for you at 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. That's benchmarkbroker.com. 
That's 281-569-4353 or online at benchmarkbroker.com. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties. Whether it's a flip rehab or a rental rehab, we manage every aspect of a rehab from start to finish with a highly efficient, standardized process. Over the last six years, Fast Track has completed over 700 projects, which has helped us to create our three keys to success. Use a detailed scope of work so that everything gets done, train and maintain quality crews so it gets done right, and complete the work in a proper order so it gets done fast. No more managing it yourself, no more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Again, that's 832-742-9992. Or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Did you know that there are over $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S.? Imagine if you could use someone's IRA to fund all of your deals. Well, you can. Quest IRA is based locally here in Houston, Texas. At Quest IRA, we offer retirement accounts. So I guess, so you got the engineer on the phone, right? And then, yeah. And then he said, just reboot it. Many of our clients. Yeah, he showed me, he told me how to reboot it. Yeah, because he's not there, right? We don't sell any oh, no, he's not here. Yeah. However, we do hold free networking events, weekly educational classes, and free consultations with an IRA specialist. For more information, visit our website at questira.com or call us at 1-855-FUN-IRAs to tap into the $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S. Call Quest IRA at 1-855-FUN-IRAs or go to our website, questira.com. Are small returns getting in the way of your retirement plans? Why settle for mediocre results? There's a better place to invest. The experts agree. Single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. Call us today at 281-915-0906 or visit our website, jbfundservices.com. That's 281-915-0906. <coughs> this investment is offered to accredited investors. You found or inherited a great 30 investment seconds. property. All right. The problem is you don't know how much it's worth or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is exactly why we Oh, the next DFW next is appraisal. July 4th, is that right? No, it's uh, the 11th. Oh, that's my birthday. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we're not doing it July 4th because of July 4th. So we're. Yeah, it, that's what I was right. thinking. Okay. Yeah. Give a call at 713-346-9911 or check us out online at Next Gen. Although Jason's doing an event up in Dallas today. Tonight. Oh, he is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is Carl you on the line? always busy. Yeah, Carl's on the line. Great. All right, here we go. Hot mics. Hey, welcome back. Right Path Real Estate Radio, 713-785-1817. Want to get right to the phone line? It's our call-in hotline. Carl with Anderson Advisors. How are you, sir? Good, good. How y'all doing this morning? Doing very well, thanks. So Anderson Advisor, Advisors, y'all are legal and business and tax advisors. It's website rightpathap.com, phone number 800-706-4741. Y'all have an event coming up. We do, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, <clears throat> I'm extra excited this week. I get to go back. I get to come home and uh, head down to Houston, and we're having a jet lending event uh, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, so coming up this weekend. And uh, we do have a couple spots left available, although they usually tend to fill up pretty quick here in the last couple days. Uh, if folks do want to sign up for that, it's jetlendingap.com. Or you can That's actually go to you can go to rightpathap.com, and there's a link on there as well, rightpathap.com. Awesome. Or you can call 800-706. In fact, I'm on the website right now. The, the first thing that happens if you go to rightpathap.com is it, it says there the jet lending and it says view available dates. You can register for the event. Just scroll down. It says it's June 22nd through 24th. Even has who the speakers are, the three-day agenda of topics. It's going to be a fantastic event. You get a chance to see a breakdown of the 2018 tax cuts and the Jobs Act, how to set up entities for lender approval, personal income tax planning with real estate. I mean, it's 
It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like about twenty bullet points. All the things you're going to be covering. Yeah, it's it's all, it's going to be awesome. If if you're doing anything with real estate at all, we're going to touch on it. I'm even I even generally do a section on Airbnb because most folks have a aren't aware that folks that do it aren't aware of the different tax changes that happened over the last uh, year or so. Not exclusive of the uh, new Tax and Jobs Act. Um, so it's it's great, and like I said, there's you get to come down. We'll draw out a structure of what we think your business entities and structure should look like. You can take it home with you. Uh, we're happy to sit down and have consults with whoever wants to sit. So, so so can you give us a thirty thousand foot view? What what's if if I wanted to get into the Airbnb business? Because it sounds like y'all work with a lot of folks that do that, and there's obviously pros and cons. Of being in the Airbnb business, what what are some of the pros of being in the Airbnb business? Airbnb business is awesome because it takes the idea of having a rental property and multiplies your returns. So in a house where you maybe were getting you know thousand twelve hundred dollars a month, you can start you can be somewhere around you know a hundred dollars a day. So I mean it's just a way to multiply that rental income. The things you got to be aware of, or one of the main things you got to be aware of though is that income is treated different than rental income. So the taxation of it's different. It's treated as active income versus passive, which we'll go into also as well at the at our AP event this weekend. Um, most folks in general we that have no idea that they are actually paying taxes and leaving a tip. We believe in paying the fair share of taxes, doing the right thing, but we don't see a real reason to leave a tip at the end of the day either. So we're going to go that we're going to go into that a bunch this weekend as well. Yeah, you want to tip your servers, but not your friendly IRS agent, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, tip your servers, not your IRS agent. So, 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 so if I'm doing it because you know when I've run numbers on Airbnb before, and I, I, I agree with you that it, you know assuming that you could have a house rented every single day. So then it starts becoming location. Who's your, you know, why would somebody want to be renting your house as opposed to staying in a hotel? And so it, I could see it if you're near a convention center. I could see it if you're near the medical center, things like that. But if you've just got a random house out in the middle of some suburb, I mean, is that still make a good Airbnb property? Well, it all comes down to the cost-benefit analysis of if it does. I mean, some of these places now that are just kind of rural in the middle of nowhere, yeah. people are starting to use them for, you know, staycations and just to get out of the city for a little bit. So, I mean, you'd have to check your area and see if there's an interest in it to do it. But at the end of the day, why not? If you can get that a reasonable amount of occupancy or you have seasonable, seasonal occupancy, then maybe you decide to switch to a six-month lease and then do Airbnb seasonal. So it's really limited to the to the scope of where you're at and what the market will support. Yeah, when I've run my numbers on Airbnb in the past, I've I've thought, well, if I can rent it twenty, you know, days out of the month instead of all thirty, I get maybe twelve hundred dollars a month in in rent if I'm renting the house out, you know, thirty days, you know, I, for for an entire year. I I'd get eighteen twelve hundred dollars times twelve, I get fourteen four in total gross rent. If I do an Airbnb, maybe I get a hundred bucks a day. I get two thousand dollars. Two thousand is better than twelve. But then you have extra expenses also because you're going to have to have a cleaning crew come in there. I mean, I want it to be as passive as possible, right? You're going to have to have a cleaning crew come in, and you're going to have to run it kind of like a hotel a little bit. Make make sure that you get you know keys to the folks. You're going to have to have systems and process for all that. And I thought, well, that just adds another four or five hundred dollars worth of expense. Am I really getting that much better? But I'm sure you've got. People that have positive experience, people that have got negative experiences, is that going to be one of the things y'all will talk about at the event? Yeah, we always like to share. We like to keep it interesting, so we're not going to sit there and just talk to you and beat, beat the people to death with just a bunch of lectures from the front of the room. We stay positive. We stay. We have got tons of good stories. We've got always try to share some client stories and some different experiences with folks as well. So we like to treat it. It's not only an educational type of event, but we also like to treat it as a networking event so we can share our experiences from across all 50 states and locally in Texas, of course, and just make it a big, a big learning experience and a good old time. Yeah, so the dates are going to be the uh, June 22nd, 23rd, 24th. That's this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's all day long, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And what's the cost of the event? Um, I, I just checked the website, and it looks like it costs $49. 50 bucks. 
Give them $50. They'll give you a dollar change, or you can leave it as a tip. It's okay to tip them. Don't tip your IRS agent, right? So right. When, when I look at all the different and things... Go ahead. And that's a huge dis- and that's a huge discount from what we usually do our events for. We were uh, in actually we were in California this last weekend, and it was higher up towards the thousand dollar range. So we want to get folks in. We want to meet you. We want to make our faces available. There's even uh, talk and scuttlebutt around the office. I think somebody's going down to look at some office buildings up in uh, the DFW area. So we're trying to. We just want to get out and meet folks, and we want to help y'all and put you in the right spots. Absolutely. So some of the things you're going to be talking about is assessing legal challenges to real estate ownership, developing a plan, keeping Uncle Sam out of your pocket, using trust and specific forms of LLCs to provide privacy, friendly lien creation and mask equity, forming the right type of LLCs to purchase real estate with different forms of financing, key provisions in your LLC operating agreement, using self-directed IRA and solo 401ks with real estate, when to consider using a Wyoming or a Nevada LLC, and much, much more. All that, three days of your time, $49. You can't get that kind of legal advice or tax advice you know, compressed. You realize that it would cost you literally hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for you to just get some basic questions answered as it relates to all that. And here's the mistake that I see a lot of people make. You have an attorney that you like, and you go to your attorney, and he's going to be thinking in terms of the liability, how to keep you out of lawsuits. But then you go to your CPA, and he's going to look and try, you know, try and keep you out of paying as, minimizing your tax burden, right? Reduce your taxes to as, as little as possible. Then you go to your banker, and he's going to want to say, hey, this is what you need to do to make yourself more the most bankable. Well, now you've got three different types of advice, and it's they're kind of all tugging you in, in three different directions. Why not have one set of advisors that understand the banking, the legal, and the tax all under one umbrella? You can say, hey, based on your situation, considering all three of those, this is the best thing for you to do. That's what Anderson Advisors does for you. You can give them a call at 1-800-706-4741, 1-800-706-4741, or go to rightpathap.com, rightpathap.com. It's not like y'all do these every week. So if you're, if, if, if you're not already signed up, you need to get signed up for this event. They don't do these very often. I, I won't say that they'll never do it again, but it's not like you say, oh, can I just, if I miss this one weekend, can I put it off till the next month? No, they're not doing one next month in Houston, Texas. Get registered today. Yep, absolutely. And I was just told, too, as well, it looks like I think we're also going to be offering a uh, some kind Two of minutes. door prize as well. So just to keep that in mind too, sweeten the pot even more and make and thank you all for coming out for the weekend. We wanted to give a little something extra back too. So we'll just consider that $49 a, a purchase of a raffle ticket. Yeah, perfect. So so you get a free door prize, giving away a free door? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so it's the Tax and S- Asset Protection Workshop. It's going to be the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. It's how you build a bulletproof Texas real estate business. Everyone that wants to be involved in real estate, whether you're buying hold, whether you're rehabbing and flipping, whether you're doing joint venture or multifamily, whether you're developing land, you want to do mobile home investing, whether you're wholesaling, you want to do Airbnb or VRBO, whether you're doing private lending, or you want to invest with self-directed IRA or qualified retirement plans, all of you should attend. It's going to be June 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Hey, Carl, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Thank you all for having me. I look forward to seeing all the folks listening over the airwaves this weekend. And I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Y'all will be at the Super Investor event that uh, the Jet Lending puts on. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Absolutely. See you then. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Mike's off. All right. Clint Coons here, attorney and avid real estate investor. You know the greatest mistake real estate investors make is not understanding the potential liability that exists from owning real estate. At Anderson Business, Legal, and Tax Advisors, we specialize in protecting real estate investors in all 50 states. In addition to structuring your business for optimum protection, we provide guidance so you pay the least amount of taxes available under the law. We have 150 employees that range from lawyers to CPAs to estate planners and much more. 
Download our free ebook, The Invisible Investor. Hey, Brian, are you talking about the the uh, Anderson Advisors event? If that's the case, just go to rightpathap.com, and uh, and then you can all, all the information about the event is right there. Of what you earn. Call us today at 800 706 4741 and mention Right Path Real Estate. Are small returns getting in the way of your retirement plans? Why settle for mediocre results? There's a better place to invest. The experts agree Ooh. single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. Call us today at 281 915 0906 or visit our website, jbfundservices.com. That's 281 915 0906. This investment is offered to accredited investors. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes or binders? The agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. They know what you need and when you need it. We're here for you. Are you a rehabber, wholesaler, buy and hold or flipper? Bundling your properties on a single policy will help save time and money. Benchmark has been in business for over 10 years and we insure over 30,000 properties. Contact Benchmark about our exclusive investor package. Call us and let us show you what we can do for you at 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. That's benchmarkbroker.com. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. Are you a realtor or seller that is concerned about the new TRID rules and closing on time? I'm Jennifer Hernandez, Senior Loan Officer at Legacy Mutual Mortgage, and we have mastered the 30-day close. We close on time, accurately, and with tons of communication. You'll have a dedicated team of a coordinator and a contract-to-close associate. Give me a call today at 713-579-3611, and let's talk about how we can help you on your next transaction. NMLS 514497. Selecting a foundation company and their product for repair is a lot like a game of chance. You simply don't know what you're going to get. The foundation repair industry as a whole doesn't carry a license, nor is it regulated. However, Foundation Check utilizes professional engineers to review all of our files to give you the best foundation analysis in today's market. Remember to check before every repair. Call 346-702-3825 or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. You found or inherited a 30 great seconds. investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while making it. still there? I am. This is exactly okay. why we started Next Gen Appraisal. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. Give Next Gen a call at 713 713- 346-9911 or check us out online at nextgenappraisals.com This is Business 1110 Alright, hot mics Hey, welcome back, Right Path Real Estate Radio 713-785-1817 Hey, the next event that Jason and I both are going to be at is going to be this uh, Wednesday, it's going to be the Super Investor event uh, su- Super Investor meeting, it's probably the largest networking event that takes place in all of Houston. If it's a small turnout, if it's raining, things like that, we'll have about 700 people there. If it's a large event, there's about 1,000. It's the who's who in real estate. It's brought to you by Jet Lending, Renters Warehouse, Right Path Real Estate, and Vizio. So all you need to do is go to the Redneck Country Club. That's going to be overall. It's on the southwest side of town. It's going to be at uh, West Airport in 59. Just Google Right Path Real Estate, or you can go to um, uh, just Meetup. It's it's listed on Meetup. It's also listed uh, on Facebook. It's the Super Investor Meeting. You definitely don't want to meet uh, miss that. Uh, Jason and I will have an opportunity for action takers. If you're an action taker, then you're going to have an opportunity to sit down with either Jason and I for about five minutes. And work on getting your business fixed. Most people that we sit down with, they are stuck someplace, either just getting started 
or a particular size where they don't how to know how to get, let's say that they're doing five deals a year. They don't know how to go from the five deals a year that they're at to the 10 or 15 deals a year that they want to get to. Or if they're at 10, they don't know how to get to 20. Wherever they are, they're stuck there. And they're, you know, here's the issue is that if you ever get stuck, oftentimes it's, it's, difficult for you to work yourself out of being not stuck because if you could do that you would have never gotten stuck in the first place and so oftentimes what I see is that people aren't willing to seek other people's advice for getting unstuck or if they do seek other people's advice what they're doing is they're just going to another person that's in the same situation that they're in and they try and get themselves unstuck together well, hey, if you've got two people that don't know the answer to the problem and you put them together, that doesn't mean that they're going to come up with the answer to the problem all of a sudden. And we've been able to you know, help so many different investors either get started or get to the next level. You know, The goal in real estate investing is to build wealth and to build income. The average American, if you would look at the situation that the average American faces when it gets close to retirement, and the dollar amount that it takes to get from point A to point B in terms of retirement. Most people, if you said, hey, Tom, I want to retire with this much money in this much time, what you typically have to do is you have to save 25 times the amount of money that it is that you want to live on. If you want to live on $100,000 a year, you need to save about $2.5 million dollars. And if you want to do that over the next 10 years, it means that you've got to be able to make the kind of money that you need to make. And oftentimes, you're having to save as much as 65% of your total income in order to get there. That's the discouraging news, is that if you're doing traditional investments where you're buying at market rates and you don't know for sure that there's going to be appreciation, then you just can't get from point A to point B. However, with real estate... With real estate, you can leverage your investing. In the returns, there's so many advantages between depreciation, between equity pay down, between the appreciation, the tax advantages, all of that. We talk about that at our free real estate investing. It's our introduction to real estate, how to invest and save for retirement. Go to rightpathrealestate.com. That's rightpathrealestate.com. Jason will be up in Dallas at a at a RIA event that he's creating <clears throat> in the Deep Ellum market. So uh, look for that event in, on Meetup. It's at Deep Ellum up in Dallas, and I will be speaking tonight at an event up in spring. Uh, you're listening to Right Path Real Estate Radio. Go to rightpathrealestate.com. Uh, right Thanks for listening, guys. Jason, I'll be in the studio tomorrow. All right, Mike's off. Have a good Thanks. one. Thanks. Bye-bye. Right Path Real Estate Radio.